Hi, we're going to start our next video tutorial for Knop Commerce from Arvix by going through how to add a new language to your Knop Commerce instance. As you can see, we have a version of Knop Commerce running here, 3.0, running on a local instance. So let's go ahead and log in. Close that real quick. Mm. and click login. You'll notice that we are using the default theme. We'll click on the administration tab. This way we can access our administration section of Knop Commerce. Alright, now what we're going to do is go to knopcommerce.com under downloads it's highlight extensions and themes and then click and you'll see language packs we are using not commerce 3.0 latest and greatest as of this recording so we will click on language packs and I've decided that today we are going to install let's see hmm the French language pack. So let's go ahead and click on details and click on download. I'll save this to my desktop so I can find it. And then go ahead and extract it you can see the folder we have here. Now you see language pack XML. Well, in order to install it on our Knop Commerce instance, we'll go into configuration languages and click on languages. Now you can see that we've got English, which is default, and I've already added Spanish. So what we're going to do is click on the button in the upper right hand section that says Add New. Click on Add New. And we will give it a name, French, for right now. And then we will click on the drop down and choose French, French. And you'll see fr dash fr. I'm not going to worry too much about a unique SEO code. Although, in order to let the friendly URL be able to indicate that you want to be able to access a certain page given a certain language, we can click fr here and flag image file name. Click on show, and of course we will select the French flag. Click on it right. Here. This highlight this text, copy, click on hide, and there we are. Of course French is still right to left, or still left to right, so we don't have to worry about clicking with the right to left. Published. Now what we're going to do is click save and continue edit. Now see there's a button here at the top right that says import resources. We'll click on that button and we'll choose a file. Now remember that we just downloaded the hmm. ah, here we go, the French language pack. We'll click on language pack.xml, click open, click on import resources. Note it can take up to several minutes. So yes, it pretty much is doing exactly what it says. So we're waiting here for not commerce to import the language settings. One important thing to remember about being able to offer different languages with your Not Commerce store is that even though the settings, the, the things that are native to Not Commerce, the user will have the ability to switch languages. The areas of topics are not affected by that. If you've written a topic in English, it will stay in English. If you've written it in French, it will stay in French. It will not be converted by the drop-down 
or selection to use another language. And as you can see, we've completed the import of the language. Uh, it shows the regular screen. We'll go ahead and click Save. Now notice here, even in the drop-down in the admin section, even in the drop-down section, we now have French, English, and Spanish. As you can see here, if you want to view string resources, we could click in. If there was a phrase you wish to edit, this is where you would edit it here uh, to show a different way of displaying it on the website. Now, we have no reason to edit any of these things. I do, however, you'll notice that we have a display order 012. As of right near, now, that means the French would be the first one displayed. So what we'll do is click on Edit. And put a display order, say, of 3 so that it's not the first thing that's visible on any sort of drop-down. Now, of course, if you, your uh, not commerce site is primarily for a French-speaking audience, you would possibly still leave that as zero for display order. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at public store. Now, you notice that we're still uh, using our default, which is English. Now notice we can click drop down for French. It takes a little bit of a moment to switch over. You'll notice that the navigation, the, the standard navigation sections are now in French. Um, search, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Anything that is uh, driven by the default resource uh, strings in Op Commerce will be changed. However, things like categories and such, which are manually inserted, are not switched over because they are not handled by the resource files. They are something you have manually inserted into the database for category names. And that is how you add a new language to your Not Commerce instance. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again. Check back with us soon for another uh, video tutorial from Not Commerce. Thanks.